Hello everyone, um, well fuck the intro, um, <laughs> so like, I know we have gotten like some amazing reveals from like, um, different days and everybody has covered it, but today, the new Cray Elementals we got are just insanity, I mean, I love them and they're just so good, uh, I haven't covered the previous one because, you know, everybody has done it, yeah, it's, it, they are also really good honestly because they give you a new elements and decks, new elements and deck building, but these two are just absolutely insanity, so, Without further ado, very first one, Ray Elemental Assassin. Okay, when plays cost Soul Blast one to call from hand to rear guard up to two units, well two unit cards with no continuous act or auto skills, and if you call two, clear up to one face down Storm Elemental Cyclone from your G zone, and draw two cards. Now you you are literally getting you're literally flipping up that one particular in, in your G zone. Good, good. Okay, that that's okay for the creative mentals, but it's also good for the different deck. But however, this one, this is fucking nuts. First, it's Tempest Sphere. It's a normal order. Cost, counter blast one. Flip a card in your G zone face up. That's all you need to know, honestly. But uh, of course, I'm gonna read the new skill. So, cost counter blast one, flip one card in your G zone face up, look at the top seven cards on top of your deck, reveal up to two unit cards with no continuous act or auto abilities from among them, add them to your hand, and then shuffle your deck. Now, fuck that. Um, the Honestly, the cost counter blast one and flip one card in your G zone face up. This shit changes so many things in premium. I mean, this is changing a lot. You have a lot of cards with your, um, you know, yeah, for GB3 or something, like GB skills. And they take some time to reach their, you know, uh, their stride. If you want to stride them, if you want to use them the fullest potential, they will take some time. Especially your Zenar Dragon as well, because you will not be able to stride them right away. You need some time to, you know, like build up the G-Zone because you're flip them up. This card, you literally counter blast one to flip a G unit face up in your G zone. You do you know how busted that is? Literally any of your GB starters, like your GB starter skills are alive, any of your GB skills are alive on your grade two. Like people who are trying to damage deny you by or damage deny you are like you know playing the grade two game. People are fucked because this card literally gives you all those abilities right away on your grade two. But this is a grade 1 order, so you can use it anytime. And imagine multiple of these. So this is just insane. It's just changing everything. Like, you cannot, you know, like... Uh, like, play on a grade 2 game and just wait for your opponent to, like, you know, not get their skills off. No, 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 no. It is going to be active. And it's gonna punish you very, very hard if you do that. Because now when the GB skills are active, all these cards can work, you know, everything can start working, this can start just buffing up. And all those cards who needs um, the cards in a G-Zone face up, they are gonna be reaching their limits very fast. They're gonna be reaching, they're gonna get powerful very fast. Just for example, um, Valios in Aqua Force, I'm talking about the Stride Valios. You need two G-Zone, uh, two units face up in your G-Zone in order to like block your opponent's power. So we were not able to, you know, use him on the very first stride because it's a GB2. And we are not able to, the, like, it's, I guess GB3 or GB2, I'm not sure. But, um, with this card, we can literally stride him on the very first, you know, very first stride. And guess what? His skill is alive. Uh, before that, we would have to go second and G guard and turn something face up and then we will be able to use the skill but with this order we don't care about that we just go and just try it. Alexandros will get way more power because of this because you know ultimately you are flipping up the cards again and again also the um, the skill of checking top seven cards and uh, you know you can reveal up to two unit cards with no all those skills you can get your triggers you can get some defensive shields or you can even get your heal triggers to guard against new attacks. This is absolutely insanity. Premium is going to change. It's gonna go through a huge shift because you won't be able to just, you know, do your grade two games anymore, um, hoping that your opponent doesn't get some busted effects out because this is going to uh, punish you hard because, you know, now they will just have their grade two games with insane uh, GB skill activated 
before they c- couldn't. Like, you could have your, you know, vanilla units and they wouldn't be able to activate their skill because it was GB1 or something. This card changes that. This card said, fuck you, I don't care. You can just play anything you want. Um, and also, but there's a huge problem, which is a ban list coming up soon. And, um... I'm very afraid about it. Like people have covered about people have covered about these cards, but the new ban list can change a lot of things. You know, they can just. Uh, I hope not. I really hope not. Honestly, with this card came out, I, I, you know, before that for the ban list, I was like, you know, it's gonna be no changes. But now I really hope that they don't ban all these interactions. Well, of course they will ban some insanely interactive cards with this, you know, with this order. But I really hope they don't ban everything or like, you know, well, they of course they won't be. But, you know, that's my biggest fear of them sniping all these new cards because of this order coming out. But yeah, this card is nuts, man. This is well, this will change a lot. And as you guys know, I love premium. It is my favorite format. I kind of give shits about standard, but inside i don't give two shits about standard but this is just insane like premium is gonna go through a huge shift and i'm very very pumped we are having a lot of interaction a lot of options and you know that's those typical strategies will not work that i like i really like that people are trying different things i really like me facing different kinds of strategies and not only one for example in giza their win con is like completely fixed I mean, I get the point, they, they do different things, but, you know, their ultimate goal is to get those Zero Dragon out, and that's fixed. That's their own uh, fixed strategy. And I like when decks can just, you know, snatch different equipments from a, their toolboxes. I guess this is one of a toolbox, one of the options you have. Um, for example, your strides are your options, so you can use multiple ways to interact with the game. There is no fixed way of you winning the game, you know. That's why I really liked Aqua Force in the G Zone because I could literally draw any cards, um, retire so many things, multi attack. I get the point that it kind of lost the identity, but the toolbox is really good. Like, I like to have this different interaction with the game. I don't want to be fixated, like, just like in standard, you just have one strategy, you do that, and you just finish the game. I fucking hate that. I, that's why I do not like standard at all. But premium, we have a lot of ways to go about it. And this is one of them. This is just, just one of the toolbox option. And I am very, very pumped. And I'm very excited for this to come out. Yeah. So thank you very, thank you very much, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.